Trash Maritime Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today we have the first whiskey of a new kind of whiskies. It's a blended malt scotch whiskey. That's nothing new. We've seen that quite a, quite a few times. Um, and we've seen those new bottles from Douglas Lang called Scallywag and so on. And this now is called Rock Oyster. And rock oyster, well, it's an oyster which lives at the seashore, uh, at a rough seashore, at the rocks. And this one is bottled with 46.8% ABV, costs around 50 euros, dollars, pounds. And uh, the specialty of this whiskey is that it is produced from maritime malts. So it's a blended malt whiskey, means there's no grain whiskey added, but it's all malt whiskies from several distilleries. And here on the tube it said, uh, blended malt scotch whiskey, extraordinary character with maritime island qualities, including malts distilled on Orkney, Aran, Jura, Isla. Okay, Orkney to Highland Park and Scapa, both not very smoky whiskies. Aaron, no smoky whiskey at all. Ah, the Marchi Moor is smoky, but they have so few casks, they will never give one away uh, to a producer of blended whiskies. Jura, well, the Isle of Jura distillery uh, produces. Uh, non-smoky and smoky whiskey, both, but the uh, smoky whiskey is already, are still young. They started producing it at around 2000, I think. And Isla, of course, and which is, which whiskey is from Isla? Uh, the typical, typical candidates are Beaumont and Buna Heaven, um, and I've seen uh, single cask bottlings at the independent bottler Douglas Lang from Beaumont and from Buna Heaven as well. And there are also the heavily peated ones. Um, traditional and non-chill filtered. And it's as well not colored, not artificially colored. Um, ah, and here you see the sailing ships and two casks swimming in the water. Have they thrown it overboard? No idea. Three casks. Prisa open a rock oyster gathered from deep beneath the ocean waves and you will be lucky indeed to find a pearl. Well, this might be the pearl. The real treasure though is the hidden tasty delicate inside, rich with the flavors of the sea. This non-chill filtered small batch vetted malt, this is the old name for a blended malt, is a marriage of some of Scotland's finest, most maritime and correctful aged malts, including those decided as I said. Um, and this is, as I said, the first time I'm aware of this mixture of only maritime malts. <clears throat> Anticipate wave-soaked rocks, rocks tastes after nothing. Well, some rocks taste uh, minerals, but if they lie, lie at the seashore, lay at the seashore for eons and the waves going over always, they taste uh, nothing, just a little salt. Yeah. And a salty, oceanic, fresh influence on the nose with a more subtle palate carrying soft and rather sweet peat paralleled with smoke, honey, damp ash damp ash, licorice and late pepper. All that is neatly replicated on the long Moorish finish. Fred Lang. And this is one of the advantages of uh, the independent bottler Douglas Lang. They always give a little smoky. Um, they always give tasting notes on the bottles or on the tubes so that 
if you're looking at the bottles on the shelf, you're able to find out how they will taste. And uh, well, Fred Lang is a very good taster and those uh, aromas he indicates are appropriate. <clears throat> Fresh, maritime, more maritime than smoky, and of course smoky. And there's some remembrance of salt. Yeah, smoky and a little peppery. Yeah, this might be, well, no oak influence. It's from a, a pot still character. And that's it. That's in the aroma. It's not that complex as I thought. Quite direct, quite straight. The sea, a little smokiness and fresh. Now the whiskey hits and mm, mouth watering. It's a long time that I had a mouth watering whiskey here on my cask. This one is it. Yeah. And mouth watering, even for a young whiskey without an age statement on it, mouth watering, this shows it's a, a good combination of casks. A little sweeter, malt sweetness, honey, not yet, no. Ash, no. Damp ash, mm, no. And starting a little licorice. So this is a good one. There's this is demanding, fresh, interesting aroma. And then this wonderful mouthfeel. Now the pepper hits, really, and um, nothing to taste of youngness, no, mouth-watering, spiciness, fresh, full, and a faint licorice, not too bitter, no, and it's strong and the aftertaste is long, very good, uh, I really like it. So this experiment with the mixture of Merity Malt is 100% positive from my point of view. And if you would like to discuss this bottle with me, please join me in my vlog on whiskey.com. And hopefully this is a small batch. We will see more of these bottles on the shelves at your local dealer. Thank you for watching.